The Hinge theorem states that if the two corresponding sides of the two triangles are congruent and the included angle of the first triangle is larger than the included angle of the second triangle, then it follows that the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. So whatever the measure of x, that is longer than the measure of y because opposite uh, I mean, angle opposite to this side is also greater than the angle opposite to this y. For the converse of the hinge theorem, it states that if the two corresponding sides of the two triangles are congruent, then in this case, the third side of the first is larger than the third side of the second. So notice that obviously 12 is greater than 9. Then it follows that the angle opposite to it, it also is also larger. So in here, the angle is represented by angle alpha. So angle alpha is larger than whatever the measure of angle theta. And that is by the converse of the hinge theorem. Now let us apply this theorem. In the given triangle X, uh, WXZ, Y is the midpoint of segment XZ. And let us connect uh, YW. And this segment will divide the triangle WXZ into two small triangles. Then, additionally, the measure of angle A here is greater compared to the measure of angle B. Now, question is, which one is longer? Is it the segment uh, XW or the segment ZW? Now, we're going to prove which one is longer by using the hinge theorem. So... What do we know so far here is, since y is the midpoint of xz, it follows that xy is congruent to yz. Then, since this segment yw is shared by the two triangles, so we can say that this segment yw is congruent to yw, and that is by reflexive property. Now, to identify which one is longer, it is the angle that will determine. So since we have a given here that angle A is longer compared to the measure of angle B, so we can say that the segment XW is also longer than the segment ZW, and that is by Hinge theorem. 